Hey guys, roughly 10 days ago, Rohan bought some rose plants for his gallery. Unfortunately, they have all dried up now. Rohan's mother noticed he was upset about this, so she explained that since the whole family was out on vacation, there was nobody to water the plants for a few days. So they couldn't survive. Until then, Rohan had no clue water was so important for plants to survive. Unlike Rohan, farmers have always known the importance of watering plants at regular intervals. This system is known as irrigation. So let's look at the traditional systems of irrigation that farmers have followed for a long time. For a long time now, farmers have been using the Rahat system of irrigation. As per this system, water is obtained with the help of animal labor. Cows, bullocks or oxen rotate a circular gear which in turn rotates another gear connected below it. This arrangement causes a wheel to rotate. This wheel has many small containers attached to it. Water is collected in these containers and then emptied in a channel as the wheel continues to rotate. The channel helps the water flow in a fixed direction and prevents wastage due to runoff. Thus, water is transported in the entire field. Another traditional method of irrigation is the moat system. It involves removing water from wells using pulleys and then distributing the same throughout fields. Some farmers also follow the chain pump method of irrigation. In this method, an electric pump is used to drive a chain that is connected to different containers. As the chain moves, the container collects water. This water is later emptied into fields through channels. Another popular traditional irrigation system is the Dhekli system. It involves the use of a lever to remove water from a well. After water is removed, it is thrown into the fields. Wow! Now that Rohan has learnt about the traditional systems of irrigation, he has vowed to water his plants regularly so that they don't dry up. Remember guys, if you have plants, water them regularly.